Tonight, people in Gulfport say that speeders are causing this a concrete pillar and an iron fence. Yeah, toppled over after Gulfport police say a speeding driver just plowed right into it. And tonight, Sarah Hollenbeck is driving Tampa Bay Ford with this ongoing problem there and why police are really having trouble stopping it. Mangled metal and collapsed concrete. The latest casualties of what neighbors call lead foot ludicrous along Gulfport Boulevard. Slow down. The Setson Law School fence hit three times. More than one driver ending up in this retention pond. Hit the water so hard that uh, it splashed water on our house right here. But that's close. Sven Bertelson can't help but wonder how close the next car will come. It's big time worry. I mean, what if we're out here walking around and you get taken out? And just watch what we caught on camera. One driver after another activating this digital speed sign, urging them to slow down. Enough is enough. The speeders keeping Gulfport officers busy. Today they're out again enforcing the rules and busting drivers like Jackie Nelson. Obviously I was going too fast. Officer Edward Pope clocking her doing 48 in a 35 mile per hour zone. I, I don't know, it's just easy to go faster, I guess. Over the past five years, there have been 22 crashes in a one mile stretch of Gulfport Boulevard, according to the Florida Department of Highway Safety. It seems like people, they don't make the turn. Yet officers say they're running out of options. Despite giving out ticket after ticket, drivers aren't slowing down. The man who caused this mess walked away, but the next one may not be as lucky. Just trying to figure out why you're trying to rush to get to where you want to go. Just take your time. In Gulfport, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. And this is how we can all work together to drive Tampa Bay forward. So if you have a story idea for us, if something like that's happening in your neighborhood, give us a call, 866-428-6397. Email us, driving at WFTS.com.